Hey everyone, uh, so I am really tired right now. Uh, I do not feel good. I am not doing well this week. Uh, so I apologize for the lack of like original content and video on this channel. Like I said, I'm just gonna be posting stuff uh, that has already been pre-recorded and things like that just for like the next week or so until I get back to uh, good health. Um, but on the way home from work, I slept for like 40 minutes. That's all I got yesterday, last night, before I went into work. So I'm like really tired. And luckily, I'm right down the street from my house. And on my way, I stopped by the comic store because I had found out that this came out today. Venom Inc. number one. And uh, I'm just so excited to read this. It's a big crossover between Venom and Spider-Man. And I'm loving the Venom comic right now. And Dan Slott's Spider-Man run is always fantastic. So uh, I will do like a, you know, maybe like a review or talk about this at some point. But mainly what I want to do is record this intro for this video so that I can give you guys the digital code. So this actually has a digital code with it. So make sure you go to this website here and uh, and set up your account. Make sure you do that for future videos because I'm every Venom vlog, I give out Venom comic books, digital copies to, to give away. Uh, so make sure you have that account set up. And then right here, boom, there's the code. Put that in and get and enjoy Venom Inc. Alpha, number one, the start of the new crossover. And I'll probably throw this video up pretty soon because I'm pretty much just giving out this code and maybe we'll talk about something. I'll, I'll edit in something after this uh, that's just like, you know, a quick conversation thing or something. But I'm going to do it when I feel a little bit better. So I'll get this video up as soon as I can for you guys so you can enjoy the comic during the at least the first week that it's out. So enjoy that. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and let's get right into the next topic. All right, I'm back again with my Kindle, and those of you out there, whoever won the Venom Inc. comic book, let me know down in the comments below. Congratulations, hope you enjoy it, and uh, I will be giving away every issue or every part of that storyline as they come out. I'll make like a special shorter video like this one for that, and I'll, I'll try to find some movie news every week to show you guys. And luckily today we got some movie news, which is uh, Venom, possible Venom banners uh, or promo art for the upcoming movie. And actually, at Marvel Flicks is the one who posted this on Twitter. So I'll put a link to their Twitter page down below. Make sure you follow them on there. Uh, they might be checking out other cool things at the Brazilian Comic Con, or Brazil Comic Con, I should say, uh, down in Brazil that's going on this this past weekend. So uh, it just looks really neat. They have a lot of cool images that they put up, uh, but the two main ones that were circulating around are these two here. I'll post the first one here. Uh, it says, we are hashtag Venom. Um, I kind of wish the hashtag was all of it, like we are Venom, because um, that's something that, you know, Venom says sometimes in the comics. Uh, he says, like, you know, he'll, I think even in the cartoon he did it one time, he's like, we are Venom, you know, and his like his voice drops and becomes the other actor because there was like two actors that played him on the animated series. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we are Venom. I Like I said, again, I would hopefully, yeah, I would like to see we are Venom be the whole hashtag, but Venom is fine too. I just feel like Venom so... Uh, basic like that a lot of people will use it for other things and so if you're trying to follow that the movie at all uh you won't you won't see you know the whole thing you'll you'll see like oh venom the movie and then you'll see like oh i got bit by a snake <laughs> and then oh i got bit by a spider uh, and you'll see like other people's stuff um so anyway but yeah that says it says in theater soon which I don't know why I wouldn't just say like, you know, October 2018, but, uh, but yeah, so that, that big banner was up. And then, uh, the other banner that was up uh, as actual, like a more visual is, uh, this red V, which, uh, again, I don't know if I, the red, I guess it, maybe it's a, a, a nod to carnage in a way or something. Uh, but there's this red V and it has like splatter, black splatter on it, uh, like paint and stuff or drool or whatever, you know, symbiote. And it has Venom's head in the middle, as you can see. And, uh, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of this, this image. Uh, this feels very last minute put together. It feels very generic in a way too. Um, I, you know, I know they, they want to start get the ball rolling. I know that this is not a big blockbuster movie. This is not a $200 million, you know, comic book movie. This is something way more restrained. Uh, but I, for, you know, in first impressions are everything. I've worked in marketing before. A lot of times people remember, oh, that was that first thing. And, and it kind of puts a bad taste in their mouth. Now, granted, you do have time to win them over before the final product comes out. So it's not the end of the world. But again, this is just my opinion. So it's not like, just because I don't really like it doesn't mean you guys don't like it. So if you do, if you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comments. Um, but I just, it's not that it's bad to me. It's just that I, for the first images uh, for promo stuff, it, it doesn't, it didn't like, wasn't like that, Cool to me like i was like ah, all right it's a red v with a, a venom face drawn on it uh one thing i did like though that it, it to me that it does is that i think this hopefully puts the agent venom thing to rest because uh, a lot of people still are pushing this agent venom thing based off of the picture of tom hardy wearing the harness and 
I know that stuff shouldn't bother me because it's like, who cares? Let people do whatever. But I think a lot of people know that it's not an Agent Venom setup and they're just doing it for clicks and stuff. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe I could take a page from their book and get more views on this channel. But at the end of the day, I, I want to report what I think is accurate and uh and i you know and i'm not i'm not trying to pull an eddie brock here i'm not trying to report things incorrectly um i want to try to do it the right way so you guys aren't misinformed and then also like i i'm not saying there's no chance of an agent venom story i never said that in my other videos i'm just saying hey it, it doesn't look like it to me based on these images uh, and then now we have this image so the one thing for me that i do like about this is that it's like hey look this is classic venom this is a, a, a drawing of classic venom and his face with his teeth and the drool and the black symbiote paint everywhere and stuff so to me that should hopefully put to bed like all right you're not going to see your agent venom version of this uh, character they're not going to change eddie brock's backstory that drastically hopefully um but again it's possible so who knows but anyway i just wanted to real quickly show these two images for those of you who haven't seen it but make sure again you follow at marvel flicks down below at their twitter account i'm not on twitter i'm not on facebook so some of you who have been asking like hey where can i find more of your stuff unfortunately i'm not on any of those i'm only on instagram and then i have a website and i and i twitch stream sometimes so that's pretty much where the, you can find me and all those links are always down below in the description box uh, but let me know again what you think of these down in the comments below as always i'll talk to you next time thanks for supporting the channel like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace